Well, I guess I know what it is for. Just wanted to make sure there was nothing there. And there isn't. Loading bay. Yep. Does this pull it up? find it weird if it does because it's a chain. Enter the slaughterhouse. No. No. I had to say it twice. Okay, let's let's give it a test. Hmm. Well, my theory works. I just don't know how the physics works in conjunction with my theory. That's a time stamp machine. My experiments continue with what I have been calling the Ark Mine, capital A, capital M. Initially, I began to work out of idle curiosity. Waking from a nap in the middle of the afternoon, during the month of clans, I wondered whether it might be possible to separate a flat disc filled with refined whale oil from an array of very short striking rods, until such time as sufficient weight be applied to the upper side of the device. After turning to pragmatic considerations, I imagined the Ark Mine might, this time not capital A or capital M, might be used to incinerate some unfortunate member of enemy forces, approaching, say, a military encampment. After early tests on livestock proved successful, I requested a live human subject, already scheduled for execution for crimes that were, I assure you, most dire. Burroughs was more than happy to comply, assuming he could witness the demonstration. He brought a prisoner from Coldridge, someone named Falken, I believe, and we turned him loose in the test area blindfolded, stumbling about until triggering the device. Burroughs was most pleased, not only because of Arkmine's effectiveness as a lethal deterrent, but also because of its potential psychological impacts on enemy forces. Further, it left no gore or other mess, and Burroughs is a strong supporter of anything clean and tidy. Quote, lovely and terrifying with nothing left to wipe up, unquote. Those were his exact words. I've left notes to myself, assuming I pick up the project again, because there may be a way to produce a version of the Ark Mine that is entirely harmless, simply rendering the subject unconscious. Much more testing is required. Hmm. An Ark Mine that makes enemies unconscious. I like things that make enemies unconscious. It is one of my favorite things. Unconscious enemies. I mean, I prefer friends. Oh. Ooh. G -g 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 uh. Such are the words of the strangled. I don't think I can carry any more pistol ammo. I don't need to. Boat checks on the Renhaven. Dearest Rutherford, your latest writing brought me a mix of sadness and delight. I was sorry to hear of the passing of your friend Corcoran from Morley. He was undoubtedly a good man and a worthy ally in your work with the City Watch in Dunwall. I know that the River Patrol is a difficult assignment, especially during these times, but it is important work. So given all that you have told me, I can only assume Corcoran was as brave as you are, my younger brother. It saddens me that such a vile organization as the Dead Eels, capital D, capital E, even exists outside the realm of those lurid gothic novels we read as schoolchildren. That you and your men should have to face them out on the waters of the Renhaven is just terrifying. Boats must be checked, I know, I know. But if you should be harmed while ensuring some Tevian fur trader is carrying the correct tax papers, I will never forgive this new Lord Regent and his flurry of laws. You talked of adventure when you signed on and danger seems to excite you, but you'll forgive me if I hope to see your patrol transferred further west, nearer to Caldwin's Ridge where the military presence is stronger and the smuggling gangs fear to ply their wicked trade. I've gathered this much from the newspapers, but perhaps there's nowhere safe in Dunwall right now, certainly along the river. It pains me to imagine the customs crew at the checkpoints near your patrol being so short-handed. My mind reels at the thought of how anything else can take priority over my brother's life. I tell you, what I wouldn't give to be in charge of allocating the security details. 
You'd have a hundred men at your call, but I know that is impractical. Also corrupt. Please write again when you can. All of us look forward to your words, and I often share them after dinner with our friends and those visiting us here in Driscoll. May your next letter bring news of the eradication or imprisonment of Lizzie Stride and her cursed dead eels, capital D, capital E. Stay safe and remember, as always, never use commas. Your sister, Pearl. Mm. And a compact arc amplifier. Collect blueprints to unlock... I know, I know, it's blueprints. And arc mines. Probably never use them. Uh, hmm. Oh, they're not assigned automatically. Mr. Rothwild, I have great appreciation for the use of your space and your whales in the advance of my studies. All of Dunwall will be in your debt for your contribution to my work. In light of your recent difficulties, I have prepared for you a gift of my latest defensive technology, the Arc Mine, capital A, capital M. It is based on my Arc Pylon, capital A, capital P, and will provide superb protection against intruders and those who would interfere with our efforts. I am certain the device will serve you well. Anton Sokolov, obviously. Well, I am sure it's going to be nice and handy for many players of this game. I like the the lack of reliance on laborer lockup key. That's nice. The lack of reliance on this thing. That said, um, I like I, I would like to rely on it now. <laughs> I think I can I can bring it up. Let's see powers. I only have the one. I need a rune. I need a rune. I like the lack of reliance on it for items, but not so much for people. Do you know what I mean? Like, for example, it's fun to find these. It has always been fun to find these. And that guy's a problem. But before that problem, there's the iron pylon over here. Ooh! Many things. Oh, there's many people as well. Hmm. Daud is around. Oh, I got a key as well. Good. Okay. I like time stop on the on the blink. I don't know if it makes canonical sense. Wow, this required a key. Nasty. I don't I don't know that it, it requires canonical sense, but uh, or that it makes canonical sense. But I like it nonetheless. Uh, that guy is going to see me. Can't crouch while... Keep. Didn't see me. Did not see me. Okay. Let me place you over here. And we're going down. You see, exploring the area is a lot more fun if you're looking for items. But not being able to tell where, like, where the enemies are. Mostly because of just how confined the levels are. Is not as fun. How do I get there? Is it underwater? This is a dangerous trade. For there are fish that will bite my feet. Are there people upstairs? If the city's dead, how did it no. Make it three more All the others down with the sickness. I can free these guys, and I will. I'll have to figure that out in a little. Hey, folks. Pass me by. 
We still need to get past that wall of light contraption they put up. If you can shut it off, we can slip past the city watch when the time is right. Oh, I did it already. Didn't you see? Is the wall of light down? Yeah. You're free to go. Make your way out of this place. Thank you. Guess you took what you came for. Just, if you see Abigail Ames, tell her we still believe in her. Best luck, sir. You're one of the good ones. Mm. We used to use the runoff tunnels to sneak in and out. But it's all mm. plague rats now. Disgusting. Mm. I hope Rothwell gets what's coming to him. Mm. He used to be poor, scrapping on the streets, so he should know better. Mm. Mm. Solidarity. That's what Abigail keeps saying. But I don't know what I'll do if Rothwell puts me in that damn chair. Rothwell can't do without us. No workers, no profit. Three men killed on the job just in the last month. How did it pass we were right to do this, whatever the happens. Down with the sickness. Tell Rothwell we ain't lazy. We just want a fair deal. <coughs> this ain't right. Does anyone still have their time card? I have a time card. If the city's dead, we'll make it three more months. Y'all just gonna stay here? I mean, it's fine. I'm trying to get the rune over here. So I think it might have something to do with whatever this is. Warning. Do not use during high tides. But why? Oh, because high tides must be higher than what they are right now. Oh, there's a lot of rats in here. Um, what do I have? Arc mine, a grenade, choke dust, and an actual grenade. That took care of the rats. <laughs> It's a bone charm, dang it. Overpowering. That sounds good. What does it do? Very easily win contested interactions. I have no idea what a contested interaction is, but I want to very easily win them. In general, I want to very easily win. Let's go around here. This is poo. There's a lot of poo. And I can enter the slaughterhouse from here. Curious. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's get out of here. Since we're clearly not meant not meant to uh to go through there. I mean, we might be, but I think entering through the timestamp thing might be cooler. Also, where is Jack? I want the code. I'm thinking it's impossible. And I should have gotten... You know, it's impossible to get the code uh, unless you buy the things at the beginning. For the safe? I'm talking about the safe. An industrious worker is a happy worker. Oh, I thought it... Uh, makes the, a happy boss but no that was not what they meant yeah the the safe is over there right hmm spent a little bit of mana, but also the safe is not here, and I don't have a whale eye, and I just took a bunch of damage. Let's see if it's that guy down there. If he's Jack, fight. No, of course he's not. Anyway, because we might get the whale eye elsewhere, it is possible that we're just gonna come back through here 
and maybe Jack is in there and I can get this, the the code. So that's pretty good. Let's not take too much damage. And let's go on in. Enter the slaughterhouse. Let's see what happens. Rockwild's got a stubborn reputation. I doubt asking nicely is going to work. We'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him. He's probably close to his office. We should start there. Report employing infractions to the management, management office. And there's a map. I've never used the maps in this game. Which is a testament of good level design. Hey, have you been in the chair already? Yes, but I signed right away. Mr. Rothwild didn't even have to turn it on. I don't believe you. No, it's true. Is he calling you a liar? That's what it says. Uh, what's going on? Think I won't find you? Every man should have to work a little for his kid. Don't you think? <laughs> That is a pretty scary thing. Stupid chopper. He'll never want a saw. Doesn't have the bone for it. You come here. You didn't see me. This is all a journey of discovery. That guy is discovering that he doesn't know who I am, or where I am, or what is going on. Oh boy. I really didn't expect him to turn around that fast though. Oh, there's a guy in the back! The limiting factor of the blink and the time stop <coughs> thing is... is that you can't just trigger it quickly. Like, there's a cooldown between stopping... stopping a blink and, uh, and starting a new one. So I think I've gotten myself into trouble because of that already. Uh, but not here. Are these whales? They don't look like whales. They're sharks. Or fish, either way. Hmm. It was unfortunate that I didn't get to see the whole conversation. There's a whale. There's another one over there. I think I can get up there. There's nobody up here. As far as I know. Maybe upstairs. Marked for shipment to the most distant point of the Empire. And fitted for live cargo, too. Survivable. If they had a fast ship. I wonder who this was meant for. You box somebody up in that thing and they won't be back in town for months. And we have a mission clue that gave me a heart attack. 
An empty crate fitted for live cargo is going to be shipped away soon. Is somebody gonna be traveling? Is that the implication? Hmm. Or killed, also. It could be that. Oh. That's... Hmm. A curious place to be in. Hmm. So you're supposed to jump and do it like this. Wow. Wow. Maybe there's another way. Like over there. Oh, this is just an entrance. Next ship arrival, four days. Why don't you just mark the date of the next ship arrival? I mean, I know why. Because we don't know the date as players. So they have to say how long it's gonna be. Not that it matters. We know it's an industrious part of the town. The dead person up here. Rothwild laborer, yep. Written in blood, you are safe now. No one can find you here. No one. No one can reach you here. I almost died trying, and I am a better climber than any of them. But you gave me claws for the climb. You want me as much as I want you. We will stay here until they have forgotten about us. We will stay here for as long as it takes. I feel like sleeping. Don't leave while I sleep, because I need you. I will stay as long as I can, forever. That's... That's the outsider controlling these people. Anyway, I'm gonna upgrade this thing and see in the dark. There's the tragic tips, tips and all that. And see useful objects. Yeah, I know what it is. And now I see people. I think that was the same as in the first game. I just forgot about it. Oh, we see that. Which we didn't. Not originally. I spotted a makeshift interrogation room in the meat locker. It might be useful to you, considering our mission here. Am I gonna be doing some interrogation? That might be the case. In the meat locker area is a makeshift interrogation chair used to coerce workers and learn their secrets. Oh, if I find Jack. Oh, yeah. Um... Getting back up here is a pain. Yeah, we will. So, let's give this a try. It doesn't work. <laughs> it does not work. Wait a little. Because there is a guy. This guy. Who cannot see me, by the way. Because I'm... This This is the rules of this game. If you're leaning over. Even if you're leaning over like this. People don't see you. I wish things were a little bit different. In that regard. Well done, my brothers. The rest of you piss off. Hmm. So that's Rothwild. Are they cooking this? No. There's gotta be another way of getting in there. This is out of order. I say there's gotta be because it feels like going up through there is a bit of a faff. 
I'll do it again. It's not a problem, but... It's just that we didn't explore this area. And we have to. 